Right. Hey guys, it's Invisible Jump over here, and welcome back to another video. And in this video, this is a special video today, as I will be reviewing two of the IVL, IVL biggest matches, because the IVL finals has just ended a few days ago, and Dota 5 vs WBG was very intense, and I'm reviewing two of the most important matches, and I'm not alone today, as I'm joined by special guest Soy Milk. Wanna say hi? Hey guys, I have the honor to be on Invisible Jung channel for the first time. I'm really happy to be here to review this match together with him. Yeah, I'm actually honored that she's here because she's also an official IBC caster and I'm actually collabing with an official IBC caster. Like, I'm honored to have you with, have you with me, Soy Milk. Oh, no, no, same, same, same. I just started, so yeah, I'm, I'm really happy that I can meet a uh, DTV creator like you and we can collab together and enjoy this amazing IBL action. Yeah, this IBL action. So about this IBL action, we, we, we are going to do two, two review matches. The first match was the Joseph match, which was in Soymil's channel. So go ahead to check check her channel out and I'm going to leave the link to the video in, in the description below where I have commented with her and without that, this is the second match, which is the final match, which was the, one of the most intense things I've ever seen, right? Yeah, this is like the peak of excitement that you can get right now in IDV competitive play. Like, this is the match that everyone, everyone that plays IDV and wants to know the latest trends and the latest gameplay and the most exciting thing. This, this is it, this is it, guys. This is it. Dota 5 versus Weibo. Let's go. Yeah, so just some quick background info. Dota 5 survivor must get a free escape or more. If it's a tie, WBG wins. So, yep, so with the background information out of the way, let's not waste your time. So this map, yeah, so, oh, yeah, so this is the stage. Actually, I'm gonna say the stage is so beautiful. Yeah, <laughs> with audience in it. So Leo's memory. Because keep in mind, Do5 must get a free escape in this game. And WBG we trying to tie, so we can see that Sphere for And actually the coordinator ban is a particularly interesting one because Do5 is known for their coordinator tactics and being very skilled with it, so that's why WBG wants to remove it. Yeah, as a coordinator of Do5, it is amazing. He, she, he, uh, the Apsi can kite for like three ciphers with it, and also other survivors. But wow, what we seeing here, John? They chose Explorer. They chose Explorer right wow. now to Leo's memory. It's actually why, like, when I saw Explorer right here in this map, I, I literally thought like very risky because Explorer, if he gets found early game, is pretty much over. Yeah. It's pretty much over. So we need to see how is Do5 taking this huge risk, but once again, high risk, high reward, but still, this is a huge risk. Yeah, but they, they, to be fair, they do need a free escape, so this is understandable, especially in Leo's memory, there, there are lots of like grasses and, and places for the explorer to hide, so it makes sense over here for them to explore as they wanted to rush the site first because they need a free escape. Yeah, one, yeah one, once they, they ban, yeah, exactly. That actually kind of makes sense because we need to recount, like, count on his hide and seek situation. Like, if he can um, be able to find a very good hiding spot. So, we are really looking forward to see why are going to be the strategy playing with Explorer and together also with Ada. What do you think about the Ada pick right there, John? Do you think it's like a uh, plan or do you think it was just, they just have nothing else to choose from their cards? Well, the psychologist pick, psych psychology is a solid character. Yet, there's one thing to note that is that she. She's very weak in Gates War, but I think Do5 chose the Psychologist because they just want to be steady and heal each other up when needed because they must get free escape. But would you look at this Soul Weaver? I actually feel like this Soul Weaver pick is a pretty good pick because Soul Weaver can target the can target pretty much anyone apart from the mercenary over here. Yes, definitely. Especially once she gets her two spits, then she can stop the rescue. But the main thing about the Soul Weaver here is whether she can keep her webs the longest and and then also not waste them. And because survivors will try to make her waste her resources. So she's going to have to play very smartly here. But once again, she needs a tie. So this is the crucial part of this match. She cannot afford three people escaping from the gate. Yeah, but one good news for Soul Weaver is that there are no harassers in this game because there's no enchanters or, or other harassers. So Soul Weaver can pretty much just find a target and stick to it and try to, try to eliminate one survivor before, before gate war and one more, then a tie will be enough. So we'll have to see 
what how does Dofa the rubber plan to get a free escape? Yes, I, I believe they're just going to try to rely on the cutting of the acrobat, the cutting skills of the acrobat and psychologists definitely would try to just uh, support, strong support, while explorers shall never be seen. Yeah, explorer cannot be afford to be found. If explorer gets found, then it's pretty much pr pretty much game over because explorer has no cutting abilities. Yes, it's so scary. And if you can look at the build right here, there is a one fly wheel coming in from the Explorer. Interesting. While the Explorer and Mercenary have borrowed time. Yeah. Ooh, cool. Explorer with borrowed time. Uh, no, sorry. Um, Ty Turner. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Ty Turner. I was saying Ty Turner. Sorry. Actually, I think I just noticed one thing. Explorer, mm. Explorer has fly wheel and Ty Turner, which means the Explorer mm -hmm. does not have borrowed time. Yes, yeah, yes, yes, yes. I was like, there's there's something missing right there that is always supposed borrow to be time. there. Oh, it's the Bo borrow time. Yes. Okay, okay. So, wow. Oh, oh, gamble. That is crazy. That is, that is insane. Yeah, that is insane. That is insane, to be honest. Like, wow. Okay, let's let's get right into Leo's memory. YMM spider. Let's go. Yeah, so we were over here. Here's Spawn going to go for the shy. And but over here is going to be the mercenary, which is the one person so Weaver does not want to chase for, which is unfortunate to, to YMM. Yeah, she's like, I don't want to see your face, mercenary. Please, I want to find my juicy rescue uh, survivor, which is the explorer right here. <laughs> Where is he? Like, he's probably just following the spawn at this point because he knows the spawn, but he also trying to see where he can get lucky and get that the juicy explorer. Yeah, well, he located Acrobat over here, but Acrobat will be tough to chase, especially in the factory because there are just so many areas and the second the second story, there are just so many places for the Acrobat to loop in, the, in this two story, so that's why Soe Eifert does not want to engage it. Yeah, there's too many areas here to be kited, so that's why she, uh, Soul Weaver is like, nope, I'm going to an open area, one of the best areas for Soul Weaver, and also um, found already the psychologist leaving the blood trail right there, and immediately use Blink, very aggressive, taking the first hit on psychologist because he needs to get his presence as soon as possible, he's not taking any chances, there's no much mind game here, he just went directly for the first hit. Yeah, he wanted the first hit in order to ensure chase, because Soul Weaver is actually saved up a lot of webs early game from wandering around so now so Weaver can use all the webs over here to ensure that he can get the psychologist as fast as possible as he already got one hit over here yes once again that, that web miss that was so close but now he luckily he got like you said a lot of webs to, to work with so he's not afraid of using them right now to get all the speed was ignoring someone decoding there but going for the main prey which is the colleges he's going to try to loop around this uh, pallet area and successfully mind game and get the first down yeah well so far so far actually on paper it looks like it's a two and a half cypher but actually it's three cyphers added with the explore so the first is a free cypher kai, which means that, that in a game that it has to be free escape, things are looking good for Dofa. A first kai free cypher is normally enough for a free escape. Yes, at this point, it is definitely looking good for Dofi so far, but now we see the camping game it starts from YMM. He's using all these webs, trying to locate where the rescuer might be coming. Nice elbow pad going in for a rescue before half, that it has to be done here. Oh, nice, very clutch rescue right there. Yep, that was a pretty good rescue, managed to make it off. And oh, and the psychologist also, also won the mind game, so now the psychologist managed to drag some distance ahead. And, and can probably cut for a bit longer over here. Yes, um, right now there is going to be not yet the, oh yeah, the psychologist is immediately down, but luckily not double down situation. And um, there's going to be a chance for a second chair right here, and now the explorer got a 62 page going on, and that is going to be crucial because he can literally just touch the machine and finish the cipher, so this is going to be crucial right here. And Spider coming in for a second chair for Ada. Yeah, but what I'm concerned right now is that the last cipher is right next to the Soul Weaver, so the Soul Weaver chair, chair the psychologist over here in an attempt to count the cyber, but the explorer has 62 percent so we'll have to see what will happen with the cyber progress now yeah, they, uh, he says uh, he probably thinks that he's, he's, he's gonna wait for it first and then he popped this one and now there's only one more but no, they didn't pop it, they're just keeping it uh, very good discipline there from Dofi survivors not rushing to pop the cypher 
Yeah, yeah, that was a pretty good dis discipline. And having someone else to prime the cipher because it, because if they pop that last cipher, there would be a dangerous situation. So now, oh, oh, uh oh. Well, the Soul Weaver ballooned the, the Merc for too long. Now the Merc has struggled free. So now, if this is going to ensure that there will be a four man gate over here. Wow, elbow by the way. He he definitely wants to get as far away as possible from that area and now is going to be up for Ihua to take the kite and decided to pop it right in the middle of the kite and now this is very dangerous and yeah. now going around this pallet area. Yeah, looping around because Explorer has no has no no borrowed time and now it's explored down. Now, but, but wait a second, the mercenary is still popping at the front gate, so now this is a dangerous situation because Soul Weaver needs a time, so Soul Weaver can charge after him to get this mercenary down with one spit and then with a blank, and the mercenary is now out, so now two people are down. Amazing blink there, I was so clutch that when like, he didn't let the mercenary slip out of his hands and now it's all about what explorer can heal up fast enough because remember he had sticker all the way up so it's very dangerous if he can stand up but no, he managed to go back in time with the, with the webs. So now it's all going to be about another camping game right here. Yeah, not, not exactly a camping game because the survivor didn't free us game. We can see, we can see that the survivor already sent one member to heal and attempt to heal the mercenary up. As they, they must get a free escape, so they cannot have. They want to heal the merc as fast as possible, while the soul weaver will be wandering around keeping this merc string down. Yeah, we see the survivors have spread up. Ada opened, the psychologist opened the other gate, which is really good, but now it's going to be up for the mercenary to go for his chair, and now YMM is still waiting for his web because, look, imagine he's, he doesn't have enough web for cocoon death. Imagine if he had cocoon death right now, he would already cocoon him, but the thing is that he doesn't have enough web for doing that. He he, he needs to control his web because only 27, and so we will rely on that web so much that he cannot afford to waste it. Yeah, and right now the survivors are, are going to, to like run back and forth to bait him because over here the psychologist is, is baiting through the front gate and the acrobat bait him. It was there to rescue him. Oh, that was a pretty nice rescue over there. As everyone is going to rush through the gate as the psychologist is still popping. Exactly, 87 is not yet fully open. Oh, nice heal the psychologist. And now it's two people down and two people have head. Yes, and the psychologist, remember, psychologist is, is de dead on chair. So, but the Soul Weaver cannot chair though, because if the Soul Weaver chairs, then everyone would just rush up and pop the, that gate. So now, Soul Weaver will have to be very careful in finding her target over here. Yes, that's going to be so so close because now everyone is spreading out and there is no target that she can actually point it and throw the web because they're putting so much pressure on YMM and YMM literally is kind of like being surrounded by survivors getting a hit on the mercenary and now he's rushing to the gate to try to force it open. Yeah, will he do it? Oh, he managed to force it open. Actually, actually the mercenary of dodge dodged a, a spitting web before and, and that was pretty crucial because that allowed him to pop the gate. So now even though he's down, the gate is open and that opens the door for the remaining survivors to escape. Wow, he, he this uh, this this mercenary is very slippery, and YMM knows that. He dropped him because he's afraid that he might struggle free again. So he's so scared about that, and now he's going just for a more more feasible target, which is a uh, the psychologist here with the blink. So that's what YMM was forced to do. What everyone else is just healing up, John. Yeah, because psychologist is dead on chair, and right right now because the tension is already over, so explore and acrobat are planning to heal each other up so that they can body block whenever needed to tank one extra hit. So right now, right now YM is just going to wander around trying to keep this mercenary. Yeah, this mercenary is so slippery. We have seen him struggle free before, and then we don't know whether we might see him again. So it is it is clutch, definitely the way he um, YM. Oh, he did struggle free. But but okay, even though he struggled free, but. But the, the mercenaries can still go there with one web, one hit. So this web will be very crucial because this web will be very crucial to down this mercenary. If he misses this web, then it's over. So what did happen? Oh no, he missed! Oh my God! Now everyone is trying to body block, but now he's putting himself in the, in the gate, trying to body block with his body the spider for the survivors, and it's going to be a three-man escape for Do Five. Oh my goodness, that was so intense towards the, at the end because. Because so far we can see the acrobat explorers healing each other up, but the mercenary, the mercenary was in risk of going down and the mercenary dodged uh, the most important web so that the mercenary can, can tank one head to escape through the, the, the gate. That 
that was intense. Like literally, I have tears in my eyes because this is this is like they fight so hard until the end, and they didn't give up. Even though when the mercenary was bleeding, he crawled all the way just to try to struggle free one more time. And the lucky thing, although for the survivors of Dota 5, is that there was no chair at the Christmas tree, and that yeah. was crucial, John. That was so crucial. Look at look at those with crying. Man. This is this is so emotional. Yeah, it's pretty emotional because he never he never had a champion with the sweat being first place in the Hunter and IBL. Mm -hmm. And after three years mm -hmm. he finally achieved his dream. This is, mm -hmm. this is such a heartbreaking moment to us all. Yes, yes. Um, for all of us uh, who follow IBL things since the beginning, we, we know how how much Dong Xuan wanted this. Like, this is actually the biggest moment in his life that we're witnessing with you all is the Dong Xuan victory of IBL 2022 Summer Edition because he has been longing for this since he started playing as a hunter, as an official, um, in an official team, um, as a professional player. So this is huge for Dong Xuan and for his team, of course, but mainly for Dong Xuan because he has been known to be the most scary hunter of the world. So he is just a beast. So to he able to be to be winning this one with his team together is just is just amazing. There's no words to describe it, but you just see Dong Xuan right there and you just get all the feelings that he's feeling. Yeah, because the thing is that Dofa has also been second Run, like first runner up in three separate occasions is that they always is first runner up and always is one step away from the champion and to actually actually pull it off and finish and manage to do the finishing step is really just so satisfying but for them after chasing for a champion for so long Mm -hmm. Yes, this is truly moving and it, it also shows that the, the hard work that he made, it, it pays off and that he he put all his faith on the survivor team and they they also paid uh, Dong Xuan off. It was, it was mutual, it was everything was there but we cannot forget about YMM, like John, YMM definitely did great as well. Like he, he did everything he could at the moment in time with all the resources he got as a hunter but just Dofa survival just clashed that 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 mad dash to the gate and it was just too much for him to handle. He even positioned himself at the gate to stop them, to yes. block them from escaping. I saw that too. And honestly we have to give credit for Dofa survival for not giving up because things things were pretty risky because at one point of the game both the explorer and the mercenary was down with the gate not yet open and at that point it seems like it seems like it would be a, a tie but the acrobat came and hit over there after after the explorer is chaired and and this managed to to got ymm to, to hesitate in whether to chair the mercenary or not and this, this gave the, the opportunity for them to to date ymm away away from the gate for, so that they can rush the gate open up the hole. Exactly, definitely. It was like there's three men or no men. Especially after Psychology's flight, there was like it's three men or no men and, and Acrobat came all the way and and start helping everyone and also luring YMM away from the gate and that buys so much time too. So it was just a, a, a very brave move to be honest because it was also it was a spider with detention still and that was just something that we, we don't really see often when it comes to competitive play because there's so much at stake. Yeah, but to be fair, at, at that point for for them, it is pretty much all or nothing. So, so them risking is really it's really what what they really need because because they really need, needed that free escape. And and honestly, it, and honestly, the survivors also coordinated very well and always having one member to pressure the gate, yet having the, the remaining survivors spread out. So spread out to make sure that YMM cannot just get an easy hit on someone. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yes, that was. That was so tense, yeah. so tense. But I'm so happy to be able to cast this this amazing match with you, Chang. I, I'm really happy that we can enjoy it together with with your community and everything. This IBL yeah. summer edition. Same thing. I I enjoy casting with enjoy casting with you, so it felt, felt so good to cast with an official. Even though I know that you said that you're new, but it's still you're still an official caster. It feels I'm, I'm so honored to do this with you.
Thank you, Joseph, here. So happy to be in your channel. And yeah, I hope we can continue doing this uh, together casting. I think it's really cool. We can both exchange so many ideas and learn from yeah. each other and improve together. Yeah, I would like to do this more, more with you because we can we can improve, improve more and be more fluid and get more used to this. Yeah, so guys, any, any, anything that we can improve and the constructive criticism, we really want to hear too. And also, let us know if there's any match that you really would like to see together, and then we are, will be very happy to also commentate it. Yeah, yeah, I guess this is a new thing that we do with you do now, huh? <laughs> Mm -hmm, that sounds great. Yeah, <laughs> if you want to, yes. I'm just excited to do this too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so yeah, thank you guys for, for watching this video. And if you guys haven't checked the previous Joseph match, make sure to go to Soyman's channel and check it out, where I also commentated this with her. And and once again, guys, thank you all for watching. And hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please you leave a like and comment and subscribe if you want to see more more videos from me. Anyways, guys, this is in the video show, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Oh, want to say bye for a minute? Bye. 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 <laughs>